How's it going guys? Today we're going to go over another lead code question. Today our question is called validate binary search tree and this is a question that's being asked by Facebook right now. Alright guys, today our problem is called validate binary search tree. Again, it's a question that's being asked by Facebook right now. And our problem description says, given a binary tree, determine if it is a valid binary search tree or a BST. Uh, it says that assume a binary search tree is defined as follows. The left subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys less than the node's key. The right subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys greater than the node's key. And both the left and right subtrees must also be binary search trees. Okay, so for our first example here, we would return true, right? And the reason for this is because 2, 1, 3 is a valid binary search tree. And the reason for that is we have 2 as the roots value. And 3, which is on the right side of 2, has a key or value that's greater than the roots value. And similarly for one on the left subtree, that key or value is strictly less than the roots value, which is two. So effectively what we've done, we've validated that the entire tree is a binary search tree, and that's because it adheres to those three different principles that we read above. For example, two now, we'd return false. And the reason for that is actually here, this four, right? So four is on the right side of our root, and our root has a value of five, which would mean that four is supposed to be greater than the root's value, uh, strictly greater than, but in this case, it's actually less than. So right then and there, we can return false, knowing that it's not a valid binary search tree because the right child of the root is less than the root. Cool, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and as you can probably tell kind of by these examples, we definitely need to walk through all the nodes of a tree to make sure that it is indeed a ba valid binary search tree. So what we really wanna do is we wanna take the root and move down from the root, right? So the root's gonna tell us some information. The root's gonna tell us that from the root, the direct left subchild has to be less than the root's value strictly, and the right subtree of the root has to be strictly greater than the root's value. So what we can effectively do is traverse the entire tree, continuously passing down the root or the current root's value, whatever subtree we're currently at, to the children. And if we can ever get all the way down past the leaf, uh, of any subtree that we're on, then we know that we've found a valid binary search tree, at least for that subtree, right? But in every case, we need to make sure that both the left and the right subtrees are valid to make sure that the entire tree is valid. So we're gonna try and do that. We're gonna try and traverse the entire tree from a top-down fashion and basically make sure that every subtree in the tree is a valid binary search tree. And if that's the case, we could return true. And if, uh, while we're traversing the tree at any step, we find it to contradict our constraints, we could return false. So let's try and do that now. So the first thing that we're basically gonna do is just call a magic rec magical recursive function like we always do that will basically do all the work for us. So I'm gonna say return validate. And what I'm gonna pass is the root so we can traverse the tree. And now also what I'm gonna pass are just two null values to start as our maximum and minimum constraints because initially we don't know if we have a root. So I'm gonna say passing null here and now let's just write our recursive function. So I can say public, this will return a Boolean. We called it validate. And we said the validate is gonna take three things, right? It's gonna take a tree node called root. And then it's also gonna take an integer object uh, called our max. And then an integer object. And this is gonna represent our minimum. And again, that's because every time we traverse the tree, we need to update these max and min values to make sure that all the subtrees adhere to those constraints. So the first thing we want to do in recursive function is always define our base cases. And the second thing that we always want to do in recursive function is define our recursive calls. So first and foremost, we said that we can determine definitively, right, if a subtree is a valid binary search tree, if we've ever gotten to the level that's past the leaves, right? So if our root is ever null, then we can simply return true because we've gotten all the way down past the leaf value of the subtree that we're on. So we know that we never return false. So if we get to that point, we could return true. And otherwise, what do we need to do? Now, if we're not all the way at one of those leaves, right, and we can't return true, we need to make sure that we adhere to our constraints at whatever subtree we're at in our tree. So I could say else if, if we have a max, right? So if our max is not null, and if our root value is greater than or equal to our max, that's a violation of our constraint. So if that happens, or if we have a minimum, so if our min's not null, and the root's value is less than or equal to our minimum, 
that's also grounds for returning false. So let's recap that again. So if we have a maximum value and our roots value is greater than or equal to uh, our current maximum, then we definitely have a problem and this, therefore this tree cannot be a valid binary search tree. So we could return false. And then similarly, if we have a minimum value and our roots value is less than or equal to our minimum, that's also a problem. So we also can return false that so we don't have a valid binary search tree. But if neither of these cases happen, right? So if we're not at the leaf nodes or below the leaf nodes in our tree and our current node does not violate our constraints, we need to continue our recursive calls to check the rest of the subtrees and make sure they adhere to our constraints. So what we want to do then is we want to return validating the left subtree and the right subtree of our current node. And so what we could do is we could say, okay, let's validate our left subtree. And now what we want to pass for our left subtree, right, is the maximum value that anything on the left of this tree can have is going to be the roots value and our minimum will stay the same. And if that's valid, we also want to validate our right subtree. So we'll say validate root.right. And now here our maximum will stay the same, but our minimum value, right, like in our problem here, example two, we need to make sure that everything to the right of our root five is greater than five strictly. So now our minimum value will be constrained by the roots value. And so now once we've gone through all these different recursive calls, Hopefully those will have all bubbled back up to our root value and we'll be able to say here, right, this top level recursive call will return whether or not the entire tree is a valid binary search tree or not. So now before we submit this, let's talk about our runtime. I think our runtime here would be O of N and the reason for that is because we're going through the entire tree definitively, right? Anytime we validate a tree, we need to make sure that the entire tree is a valid binary search tree. So therefore we have to traverse all the nodes in the tree. So we can say the runtime is O of N, where N is the number of nodes in our tree. In terms of our space complexity, the worst possible case we can run into really is that we have a giant linked list, right? So we're just gonna have a massive, potentially massive uh, stack, right? Recursive calls on our stack. And so in that case, our space complexity will also be O of N. Again, where N is the number of our nodes in our tree. So let's run this. Let's make sure that works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve validate binary search tree in Java. Again, it's a question that's being asked by Facebook right now. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, do me a favor and leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm a go in the stellar. I feel like Matthew McConaughey. I don't care what they gotta say. Funny pranks, how I dropped away. Jason Bourne with the headshot. Jason Statham with the whip game. Liam Neeson with the rescue. I go gun with the leather face. Bruce Campbell with the chains.